Hey YouTube, it's your host I2I35 and in this video I thought I'd like to show you the 21 rules of the house. They were 20 rules that I grew up with in this house which are Christian based and it's a list that I recommend every Christian family in the world to have. And the 21 rules basically we um, actually were supposed to like know them all uh, by spirit and by mind and really live out them. The very first one says we obey our Lord Jesus Christ. Jesus said, if you love me, you shall obey me. That's the very first one and is very important. Two, we love, honor, and pray for one another. Three, we tell the truth. Four, we consider one another's interests ahead of our own. For example, if someone cannot look over a high wall, you ought to help them, like, you know, lift them up so they can look over the wall. You consider their interests ahead of your own. Put yourself in their shoes. Five, we speak quietly and respectfully with one another. Six, we do not hurt one another with unkind words or deeds. Seven, when someone needs correction, we correct him in love. See, the Bible says, parents, do not promote your children to anger. Raise them up in the way of the Lord. Raise them up in the way should, they should go. Eight, when someone is sorry, we forgive him. Nine, when someone is sad, we comfort him. Ten, when someone is happy, we rejoice with him. Eleven, when we have something nice to share, we share it. See, a good lesson from VeggieTales' Lyle the Kindly Viking is that sharing might not get you more stuff, but it will get you more friends. And I don't like what all those liberal evolutionist denialists out there try to say, oh, Jesus said to the disciples, share what you have with each other, oh, communist, stuff like that. No, sharing will produce friendship. Sharing might not get you more stuff, but it will get you more friends. And that's what I really like doing out there these days. I've been acting this out for like several, several years. 12. When we have work to do, we do it without complaining. 13. We take good care of everything God has given us. See, this is, for example, like if you have a pet, you ought to really take care of it. The Bible says that, you know, uh, take care of your beast. There's no animal abuse in the Bible. Like, whatever God has given you really ought to take care of it. And 14. We do not create unnecessary work for others. Don't leave a messy room. Take responsibility. Um, 15. When we open something, we close it. 16. When we turn something on, we turn it off. 17. When we take something out, we put it away. 18. When we make a mess, we clean it up. 19. When we do not know what to do, we ask. 20. When we go out, we act just as if we were in this house. These rules don't only exist inside the house. You really ought to like keep them in your heart even when you go out, uh, out of the house to some other place like a shop or another friend's house and really understand that these have a part in almost all areas of your life. And last one, 21, when we disobey or forget any of the 21 rules of the ho this house, we accept the discipline and instruction of the Lord, a.k.a. you get a spanking. This is not like being mean or anything. It's just that you disobeyed and... It's like, you know, like, dis uh, the discipline ship really, like, lectures you, teaches you how to grow up and become mature and adult and, and so on.